Hi peeps. Um, somebody wanted to know how to export a seagoing vessel from 3D Max into DCS. And here's how. First of all, your, mo your model. It's best to have some textures on it, either unwrapped or as a colour palette type thing, which is like this. These are just normal te textures, which is that. Uh, your textures need to be in the actual model folder shapes textures your entry lure and your main lure but first the model the The model, the model, the model, the model. Um, first of all, you need to have the the exporter open. So go into your utilities. If you haven't already done so, you need to add the model tool and the EDM export tool. The EDA I believe is is animations for characters so it's going to be be, be the, the bones. So add two have the model tool and the EDM export toolbar. Now for for the textures, you need the EDM tool. Because if you export it like this, it will be in, invisible. So when I click make call, this will change and add something here we here we are so as it's going to be a ship you just need to have it on default you've got loads of others got fake fake lights Got glass, self illumination, aluminium, chrome. But for this default, then you've got yeah you know, opacity. Whatnot. So if if you've got glass, then you change that. So so far, and that changes it for. A, everything that is attached to the, mo the model so that is the when well, and under due time we need that for the model itself everything will pass th through it like it isn't isn't there let's you have a a collision shell done in the user defined this is a renderable collision shell if I made a separate collision mesh I would just have collision shell I wouldn't have that under that and then that will not be rendered in in game it'll be 
that it invisible but for this is going to be be rendered so there you go then you need to rotate the, the model so it faces in that direction making sure it's centered and after that okay on this version of the plugins that's 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 blank we've got batch export export options dialog which says this the help and the about show you the what the the help is okay this is the hit the help it's got that is got the type rendered that's half of half of half of it is in Russian other half is trans translated got LEDs fake lights blah 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 and that's that so when a when everything's all done click export that will export it if there's any errors it will come up with a box saying whatever the the uh, yeah, error is so to your scenes and then cut and paste what I do is cut and paste to the model to viewer, mainly the stand standalone one. I like to see, have a double check to see if everything works and everything. So, open up the model to viewer. and everything's all good it's facing the right right way if it wasn't it'd be facing that way um, got your textures associated and any animations so everything's all, all good let's move this to the mods folder copy boat and in there any EDM and lords goes in the shapes textures goes in the textures got your Entry lower. Uh, that is the same as the boat. Then type in everything here. Uh, de de declare plugin. What not? then this the main one and the squeaky chair okay so got model path this red this is the shapes folder liveries if you've got liveries and your checks path if it's in in a zip folder then you add the zip folder name if it isn't then 
Yeah. Shape name is the main shape. In this case, it'd be boat zero zero three. So boat zero zero three. If you've got a detraction. mesh then have that in there but that's mainly for ground vehicles and buildings got life hit points mass I don't really know much about that I've seen different ways of doing this with plus equals E or something I don't understand that but I just when putting in in it in I think I don't know if it's in kilograms or something else max velocity the speed race velocity don't know about that economy velocity distance not sure about that race distance I don't know ship length I can put the ship length in there the width height, length, deck level, I think that's the overall height either from deck or from sea level I don't know. Nose and tail that is the rakes, tail width, how wide it is obviously, got gamma max, I don't know, OM um, don't know. Speed up the 0 to 60 time. I'm in. I don't know. Uh, got Takan. If it's got a Takan, put it in there. If it's got any aircraft helicopters, distance it finds targets. Exhaust. If it's got a yeah, exhaust landing point. Obviously, got the 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 LSO view name. It's it was originally in Mission Editor and in game, but I th but that but it just says export export boat in both. So I don't know any optics radars. It's got. Um, the the symbol in the mission editor, or well, in the map map view, that's the symbol it has, and the attributes and categories you find in the database. So scripts database. And you've got the ISPUs categories and the WS types in there. Then you've got, got a surface unit at the end. If it's for a country, locked to a country, then you have the thing in there. Which I will show you. Uh, no shapes. Which is GT countries, UK, and then have uh, USA, Russia, wherever. So that's with that. To add surface unit at the bottom and click save, and that is adding a ship to the game. And now to actually see it in game, okay. I just tried it, and it's not working because I messed up this, the, this bit here. Boat underscore zero zero three. 
messed up and this would be dot edm so hopefully that should now no work okay dokey let's try this again shall we export yay it's working okay let's add some other boats for size comparison and there you are okay nope okay look yeah it's working now and that is the boat hope this helps it's got the collision mesh as well This seems a bit, I don't know, sh shallow, I would say. But uh, that's the game. That's it in game. And uh, now you know. Thank you very much. Have a good day.